Hello and welcome to the MixOps demonstration series where you can see live demonstrations for real users and real world applications. For more information about our products or to schedule your own live demonstration, just give us a call or visit us at www.mexop.com. Without further delay, we invite you to sit back and enjoy the demonstration. I would now like to uh, uh, invite Gear Hovland uh, from IRB Cam to give us a, uh, in a robot in action live so our attendees can uh, view uh, the actual machining of this part. Yes, uh, thank you Uday. Can you see my webcam? Yes, I can. Uh, uh, just for our attendees, uh, you should be seeing a webcam in the same uh, window application that uh, you're watching the demo. You can, you're welcome to resize it so you can, uh, you know, so that you resize it to your, fit your screen resolution to view the uh, live webcam in action. Yes, so um, as Chris said in the introduction, my name is uh, Geir Hovland. I'm based uh, in Norway and uh, the time difference is uh, nine hours uh, to California. So right now it's uh, quarter to 6 p.m. over here. Uh, the webcam you see is um, from our development lab. We have a ABB uh, IRB 1400 as you see in the picture and it has a small lightweight spindle which is a uh, only three kilograms because this robot here has a maximum payload capacity of uh, five kilograms and also this spindle is uh, air cooled uh, it has a fan at the back so there's no extra uh, pressured air cooling on this one uh, in addition in our lab we have a um, we have uh, additional robots we have a KUKA KR 125 we have uh, robots with turntables and uh, on the right hand side on my webcam you see the edge of a uh, track motion as well that and all of these uh, robots we we just use them for a uh, development of the IRB cam software uh, at the back of the webcam you see a part which we made with the turntable you see uh, at the back there it's an example so I think now I will just start um, the milling uh, compared to Uday's um, configuration what I did I rotated the tool roll angle by 90 degrees because otherwise I would get a collision between the spindle and the upper arm but by rotating it like this uh, as you will see in the when it moves there will be a collision free path okay so let's start it so now the spindle starts And normally I would do the roughing first, but because of the limited time we have in this webinar, I'm going straight for the finishing. And we have a special tool here which uh, allows us to do two inch depth. And the material here is uh, styrofoam and the depth of this plate is, uh, is about two inches thick. So now it's doing the five axis, five axis continuous path as programmed by Uday. He just emailed me the, the rapid code and I just uh, used FTP file transfer protocol directly onto the, the control system. In addition, IRB Cam supports um, uh, spindle speed, so the RPM information is stored in the apt file from RhinoCam. It's automatically programmed into the spindle to get the correct RPM. Also, we support uh, automatic tool change, uh, but this spindle we use in this webinar uh, does not have uh, automatic tool change. But in another setup we have, we, we have a tool change cabinet with up to uh, 20, 20 different tools and they can all be selected automatically by the IRB cam.
Okay, I think I will just uh, mute my microphone now and hand it back to Uday. Is that okay? Thank you, Gerrit. That would be fine.